Hey y'all, whoa, I'm back. <laughs> um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping here to listen to me chat. Um, actually, this is my second video um, for YouTube. And I actually deleted my first one because the next day when I woke up, I was like, I cannot do this. This is just not for me. What do I have to talk about? People don't want to hear sad stuff. You know, people want to hear positive things, especially nowadays. Who wants to hear me talk about depression and all that crazy stuff? And that's that's just how I felt. And I was um, cocktailing. I was having a real cocktail then. So <laughs> I was really feeling it. And I got emotional. And it wasn't that I didn't want you all to see that. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. That is who I am. I am an emotional human being. But it was just, I was like, no one wants to hear that. And I was just like, so what do you talk about next? Like, the next day you're going to talk about how you were so sad and you couldn't do this and you didn't want to get out of the bed. Who wants to hear that? And so here I am again today. <laughs> um, Two days later, because today is Saturday... And I did my first block Thursday night. And that's when I deleted that one off of YouTube. And I will repost it now that I'm continuing if this one makes it. <laughs> so the thing with this one is I'm not going to upload it until tomorrow. Because guess what? <laughs> I'm having wine. <laughs> so tomorrow if I feel like, okay, this is what I want to do, I'll do it. <laughs> Anywho. So, but you know what? One thing I remember pe um, people saying back in the day is you tell the truth when you, um, drinking. <laughs> but, um, anywho, and I don't care about the ones that said, do she drink every day? No, I don't. But I'm having my cocktail today because it's, um, Saturday <laughs> and I'm not working. So I just left from the pool because, ugh. Today, yesterday was horrible. That's probably, that's why I woke up like, this is not for me, blogging. What am I, that's why, because it just was not a good day for me. Emotionally, mentally, everything. So, today, I woke up. It wasn't a great day. But one thing I have to say, and I hope I want to leave this with you all is, God, Jesus is amazing. Cause that's all I've been doing is, is praying today, it, it, well every day, but talking to him saying, I know you got this. And even though I, okay, let me share this with you. I was actually expecting something in the mail today. I've been expecting it all week and I'm talking about financially and then it, it did not come. <laughs> so today's Saturday and it still didn't come. And so tomorrow's Sunday, mail don't run on Sunday. So <laughs> now I'm crossing my fingers for Monday but one thing I didn't do is I did not lose faith in God like I have done so many times I've just said forget it and give given up and was like I can do this by myself and it, just thinking about all the negative things like the God that we're supposed I'm supposed to be praising he's supposed to take care of me in every aspect of the way that's what i was raised that's what i was told but um i i've always and i've always believed that he's never late he's always on time so even though i'm going through what i'm going through right now i know that he will be on time and it's all gonna fall into place and it's all gonna work out so i am not gonna get emotional today i refuse to so um but i just feel that because i'm i, I just I don't know why I feel emotional right now because I guess it's because I'm going through so much. That's number one. Then I guess the wine don't help, but hey, whatever. Leave in the house. <laughs> and um, I know he's going to work it out. So that's where the tears come from right now, the emotion. I know he is going to work it out. I know because he's done it for the past, y'all know how I am. <laughs> I will be 43 this month. <laughs> 43 years I've been here. Got two whole grown kids. A mess. Anywho. But, um, I know he's going to take care of all that. So, anyway, let's get past all of that negative and that emotional stuff. Let's, let's, I can get past that. Um, so I went to the pool 
and it's it was I needed that actually. This we've been here we've been here in Arizona since May 14th, and this is my first time going to the pool. Let me tell you why. First of all, when we first got here, there was no way a pool action was going on. It was too hot. I was frustrated. I was pissed off. I was mad about everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. When I say that, my partner got a promotion to move here and they relocated us here. And when I say they said he needed to be here in three weeks, I mean, I had to pack up a whole two bedroom, bedroom apartment and move to Arizona in three weeks. Did the diva do it? Yes, the diva did it. <laughs> But when I got here, I was mad. I was frustrated. Ask me, ask me if I have any family here, if he has any family here. No, it's just us. So imagine what I'm going through, not on a daily basis. Back then, it was a daily basis because it was new to me and I was frustrated and I was upset, even though I knew it was a step forward because, you know, the doctor is trying to do things. When I say the doctor, I will explain. And I wanted to be by his side because um, I'm his lady. But it, it just wasn't good. So July, the I want to say July 2nd, I left and went back to Wisconsin to, to um, celebrate the 4th of July with my family and my grandbabies and everything. And, um, and I left him here working because he the reason why we um, came here. Anywho, and I was gone for like, I was gone for a while, for like over a month, which I did regret, but we'll talk about that another time. But anywho, so it was, it was hard for me, and we still here. We are here, and it's November the 3rd, and my birthday is this month. I'll be 43 years old, Lord Jesus Christ. And um, I'm, I, when I came back, I came back with a totally different attitude. I was just like, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to stick in there. Um, and I had to think about everything. I had to think about the days when I was crying out and calling out to God saying I needed a change in my life. That I wanted something different. I wanted to get out of Wisconsin. I raised two great kids. They're adults now with kids of their own. It's time for me to, you know, for me to move. I want to get out of here. It's, you know, it's, I'm so done with Wisconsin. That's what I'll just say. <laughs> we were in, in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I still have, my immediate family is actually still there. And so, I had to realize, God answered my prayers. You, you ran away. That's what I used to say to God. I just want to up and run away. <laughs> and financially, we can't just do that. So, he made a way for I actually that's how I look at it now so when I so back to what I said when I came back I was looking at it differently like God is just answering your prayers you wanted to up and run away he up and moved you you did you expect the three weeks to have to pack up a whole place and move no but it worked out it worked it not only worked out with me just me and him packing up everything it it actually worked out financially because remind you <laughs> We just, I'm just like you. <laughs> we ain't got no money. <laughs> so it's so funny that God made it happen. And he made it happen with the people that he put in my, in my circle. And it worked out and we got here. And we're here and the, the, the space is nice and it's, it, it works. But I, I just know that he has something, something better for me. I know he does. I, I know it. Trust me, I know I know from experience because I know where I've been um, and I know where I am now. So I, I can imagine, I can't imagine, to be honest, I can't imagine what he has for me. I think he's going to really blow my mind. I think he's going to step in and he's going to wipe all of this depression and all this that illness and that sickness. He's going to wipe it out. I'm going to be a brand new woman. And I'm going to live happy and be happy. Because that's all I want. I just want to be happy. And what's crazy is you all will meet him. I have this amazing, this great God that stands by my side 
with this illness when that illness is bipolar and he is with me and he he tries to understand and and it's just I feel so sorry for him when I get out of that space and I think about what I did or said the day before I'm just like oh but it's like I can't help it anyone that's out there that's going through it you can't help it it's, it's just a part of you if you're not medicated and that's what I had said in my first um my first um I want I was gonna say interview but what I said in my first um blog I had said that I wasn't medicated and that's because when we moved here I lost my insurance so I don't have insurance so I can't get the medication that I need um and it, it's it sucks that I have to live with this um but I I think the reason why I'm getting through every single day is because of God. Because I keep praying. I, I'm staying prayed up. Because I feel like that's the only medicine that's helping me. To make me even be here talking to you right now. Because <laughs> if I wasn't prayed up, I don't know what my what it would be. I don't think I would be here to be honest with you. So, um, like I said, so back to starting off today was just not a good day because I didn't get what I needed because remember we, we, um, I, <laughs> well, no, we, 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 um, we, what was, what's the, um, saying you, um, you, you, you borrowing from, from, I forget how it goes because I, and I know why I forgot because I made up my own list, my own list saying, like, I'm stealing from Steve and Bob to pay Kim, Keisha, Rob, and Tanisha. <laughs> Meaning, it's like a cycle, like, I'm using this money to pay this bill, but then I'm using, it's just like a cycle. So I'm just ready for God to break that in our lives. And what's so crazy is, and I'm going to share this with you all, but don't tell nobody is this this wonderful man that I has he makes great money but guess what like some of you guys that is probably watching um my channel now he has to pay child support which I get it those were your kids before we got together you you got your two kids you got the pay child so you have to take care of them and I truly um believe in that trust me like I said I'm a, I have two adult kids which I raised um, not by myself because my mom co-parented with me and she was amazing, the best. Um, so I get it, but what he's paying, I feel like it's ridiculous. And I'm not going to go into all of that right now because I'm just getting to know you all. But what he's paying is according to Wisconsin law. Because, you know, every state has its own law. And when he came to Wisconsin with me, the... Like I said, it's just a mess what he has to pay. So, we don't see all of that good money that he makes. <laughs> so, um, anywho, back to what I was saying. Now I'm all over the place, and I do not want to be all over the place when I'm talking to you guys. I want to be, I want to know what I want to say. I want to talk to you guys about what's on my heart, and I just, I want to be focused about it. Um, so, like I said, I went to the pool. And um, I, I was by myself. It was beautiful outside. It's like 80 degrees here. And November the 3rd, it's 80 degrees in Arizona. Unbelievable. Imagine I'm coming from Wisconsin and today was 41. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. So um, I really enjoyed that time. I needed that. It's like it took all the stress and tension away from me and all of that good stuff. So, excuse me. So I really needed that. And I took my little wine with me to the pool. I just I had my phone with my music on. I had a good time. I just enjoyed myself. Listen to the music. Texting my sister back and forth. Because she in Wisconsin where it's cold at. So, um, shout out Sugar. I love you, girl. And, um, I did. I needed that. So, now I'm back in the house. I showered. Hung up all my wet stuff. And, um, the doctor is at work so he won't get off to ooh, he still got another hour and a half that is a mess when ugh, actually no today's saturday he got 30 minutes so i'm looking at the the time on the microwave y'all so no actually so he only has 30 minutes and i want to go grab something to eat and um 
and that's about it i just wanted to share a little bit more about myself because like i said i deleted the first one which i will put back up but this is just letting you all get a little more insight um about me and what else oh I, I still want to talk i still got some more stuff i want to talk about let me have a little stuff of this way <laughs> okay and so what i was gonna say is so yeah he'll be off in about 30 minutes we'll he'll probably come in shower and put something on and we'll probably go grab something to eat. or i don't know go down to mills avenue go for a walk it's always crowded there with the college students and which he is a college student also um so we might go down there have a drink or maybe just have something to eat and walk around we always do that that's our little Audi. remind you we don't have any family or anything here um we just have each other and i don't know I, you know what with with if i didn't have bipolar this will be a great a great relationship <laughs> because it's just me and him it's like we we are so good together like before we moved here um it was great it was it was good we still had you know i still had what i had <laughs> i still had i was still bipolar but it was like it, it wasn't other things on top of that as far as as far as finances because we moved to a state where things are more like the rent now is more everything is more so i don't even have to break it out everything here is more when <clears throat> when we were there <coughs> excuse me <coughs> when we were there this the cost of living was cheaper so i'm dealing with all of that and i'm handling it though because i'm in charge of all the finances <coughs> excuse me but i am handling it i'm taking care of it we still here we still got a roof over our head <laughs> everything is paid and that's what that's when i say god comes into play because he's taking care of everything so um i do i thank god for that he is amazing he is definitely worth praising. I want to spread that. <laughs> I'm telling you. <coughs> and one thing I also want to say to you guys is when you speak things into existence, it happens. Trust and believe. It might not happen in our time when we want it to happen in three days or four days or five days. Like I wanted that to be in the mailbox today. But it's going to happen. He is always on time. I'm telling you, when you stop talking into existence and start saying, this is what I want, this is what I'm going to get, it's going to happen. He is that amazing. He is that powerful. Trust me, like I said, I'm in this little space right now, but it won't be for long because he's going to come in and he's going to work it, whatever he do up here in this head of mine and snap me back to how I need to be. Whether that's getting, getting me some more insurance so I can get the medication so i can be you know not feeling so down every day or whatever he's gonna work it out but right now he's medicating me he's taking care of me and like i said i might wake up not on 900 but guess what the fact that i'm still here he's medicating me that's the medicine that he's working through my body because i haven't done anything crazy i'm still here i'm talking to you right now <clears throat> So that right there is just amazing for me. And I know I'm, I'm, it's just not me. I know it's not just me. It's other people out there that feels the same way. So I, I just want to say I'm praying for everyone that's dealing with any kind of mental issues, any kind of um, <clears throat> depression, whatever. I am sending a prayer up for you right now. In Jesus name heal you take care of you cover you continue to cover you and I always say when I pray I always say God continue to cover me because I say continue because I'm able to pray to you right now so you have covered me so I ask him to always continue it to continue to cover me because I need it so I don't know I guess that's it um I guess I'll share a little more next time excuse me and what's oh it's so funny because i woke up such in a bad space today and remind you i woke up in a bad space and hadn't even been to the mailbox and my the doctor was just like it's gonna be okay he was like let's pray so we prayed together 
And we did, and it was good. And when he left, even though I was still in a nasty space, <clears throat> um, I still know that God has it, you know. And I called him while he was at work, and he just, I don't know. I don't know. He, he's a blessing to me to be with someone that can actually, and he's younger than me, to be able to take it all in and understand that it's really not me. <clears throat> it's, the, it's the illness, you know. So, um, but I just pray that it all ends soon. But, um, what else? Demon in the house. <laughs> you all hear me say that a lot. Because for years, I've been calling myself a diva. <laughs> and I'm still a diva. I will be 43. I'm still a diva at 43. No matter how much weight I pick up. No matter how big or small I am. In my mind, I'm a diva. Because I love everything about me. And that's another thing. You got to love yourself. Love you. And it took me a minute. It took me, what, to get, I think, 42 to actually love me. I stopped all of diet. Well, I had been stopped all that before 42, maybe. Mm, 41. I had stopped, like, taking those diet pills and stressing myself out about being this little and all that crazy stuff. No, I love everything about Denise. Everything. I just love me. I um I don't wear makeup as you can see. I never wore makeup, so I'm just not a makeup girl. Um and I just the only thing I do is that is bald head. I don't get phony nails because my nails actually grow out really, really long. I have great natural nails, but I cut them down when I just don't want to be bothered, but I might let them grow back out. But everything about me is so real. I'm just real. I'm a diva. I'm not a Beyonce diva. I'm not a Patti LaBelle diva. I'm a diva in my own right. And every woman should be. So, um, I don't know. I guess that's about it for right now. And my sweetie said, the doctor said that we are, because remind you, I, well, when I blogged the first time, I was saying that I'm new to this, so I don't know how to edit and all that stuff. And I'm using my camera that I got years ago. It's, a, it's really nice, though. It's a Canon. And, um... I'm using that to, to blog now, and I totally forgot that I have a MacBook Air. And he was like, oh, you can do all of that on there. You can do this. You can edit. You can do all of that. So he said Sunday he's off tomorrow, and we're going to go through everything, and we're going to try and figure it out. So maybe I'll get even better. I don't know. I don't even know if this is going to make a team. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, and I, and I, and I say that cause I, my, my only goal is to encourage you. Like I want to encourage you even when, even that I, even though I'm not at my best, I can still encourage. The reason why I can still encourage you is because I've been so many places. I am, I will be 43 and I've, I've been there, you know, I've actually had a great life though. It's been good, but I had my ups and downs. I, I that's why I'm I'm just moving up. I see that I'm moving up because I've been there. I was in Chicago, born and raised in Chicago. Had my son at 50, pregnant at 15, had him at 16, living in Cabrini Green in the projects. So I've been there, and I moved up. I got my babies out of the projects, and I moved to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and I was there until. A few years ago and I raised them to be adults um 20 Priscilla is 23 and my Dedrick is um 26 now so I've done it trust and believe I've done it <clears throat> and I've done a great job so that's when I say I can encourage you I can motivate you even though because guess what that's why I'm here today <laughs> even though I might be by phone I motivate myself every day well I wouldn't be here doing this right now talking to you I had to motivate <clears throat> Excuse me. I had to motivate myself to go to that pool and relax and just let it all go. And if you say, <clears throat> I don't know where all that's coming from. If you say you believe in God and you give it all to him, give it all to him. Let it all go. Take it off your shoulders, girl. Drop it. 